Hey guys, it's Troy with another pen video, and I wanted to share one of my somewhat vintage uh, pens that I just added to my collection here, and not too long ago, and it's something that I've really enjoyed writing with so far. Uh, this is a German manufactured pen from the 1960s. It is a Senator brand, and this particular model is the Regent. The Regent, um, I, as I recall, was manufactured from the 1930s on up through like the 1970s. I'm just going off the top of my head from uh, my reading over the years. Uh, but um, it is, like I said, it's a German manufactured pen, and it's a piston filler. One of the things I've liked about Senator so far, and I've only got two of them in my collection, actually. This is the, the Regent. This is another Senator that I have. And I don't even know what model this uh, particular Senator pen is because it was not given when I went to go purchase it. It was just Senator. It's like, you know, I've heard of it. Um, I've seen them, but I've never owned one when I purchased this one. But no model name was given. So I was able to get it and, uh, and a couple of years ago, I do believe. And you can see there's some definite similarities here in the styling of the two pens and, and definitely in the size. Um, and they both act a lot alike in terms of they are piston fillers with a nice green ink window. And you, uh, both, you have both these with a blind cap with your piston knob. So uh, here you can see that piston go back and forth on this senator. I'm not going to do it to the other one because it has ink in it. <laughs> uh, so we are not going to activate that piston on the Senator Regent. But as I was showing you there, it does have the same kind of blind cap that you would screw off in order to get to that piston turn knob. So when you look at it, you've got, uh, you know, kind of a con cave just a little bit here at the end of that resin top here. Um, one of the things, you know, black and gold, I've often said black and gold is a very elegant combination. I've always liked it. You've got a nice throw for that dome. Then you've got this clip. And here on the side, it says Senator on the side, as opposed to this other model says Senator going down the clip. But you've got the exact same look to it, the nice cigar-shaped down to here to that blind cap at the end and here is a fairly worn <laughs> cap band here where you know usually was gold tone and that's wearing off a little bit but still um i don't remember if this was supposedly uh you know like a new old stock i don't believe that it was so but you pull it off and then you've got that green ink window you can see that i've got it filled with a black ink in there and i've got some better pictures of this that i will show uh, but that is its nib right there. So 1960s is kind of vintage. I mean, I'm 1960s vintage as well. Uh, but this pen is older than I am. A little smaller um, on the pen in terms of um, its length. I personally like them just a little bit longer than that. Just a little longer. So I probably would go ahead and post. And because that is not a very heavy cap with it being just the resin, it actually uh, does not tremendously back weight that particular pen. So it actually fits fairly comfortably in my hand that way. But the biggest surprise to me when I got this pen uh, with the steel nib that it has is how well it wrote. So let's go ahead and uh, put nib to paper. So this is a German manufactured and it is a Senator brand. And the model is the Regent. This is probably from the 1960s. And it was manufactured from the 30s up through the 70s. As I recall, uh, for the Regent's uh, dates of production. But it's got a very nice, beautiful nib. I don't care if a nib is steel, I don't care if the nib is gold, it has to write well. And when I first put nib to paper after filling it up, I said, now this is awesome. 
you can get some nice good line variation out of this particular pen and it actually does write fairly wet it's a good wet writing medium nib to it I did put into this pen some Birmingham Pens ink Birmingham Pens and uh, you know I, I ran out of my favorite black ink from Birmingham Pens so I used my next favorite which is their Coking Coal Black good ink good darker ink it's actually darker than their um, uh, than their gunpowder Allegheny Arsenal gunpowder black which was my uh, first favorite from Birmingham pens but uh, this particular nib right here spectacular writer great writer been very very happy with this pen it was one of those ooh ooh kind of scenarios when I first picked it up I've been doing a lot of con uh, a lot of carry everyday carry with this particular pen been very very happy with it um, I don't think that you would be disappointed at all if you could find yourself a good senator pen you now usually when you buy a senator that happens in politics but if you can uh, buy a senator uh, one way or another online uh, this particular pen I purchased from Peyton Street Pens. Go to her website, Terry's website at PeytonStreetPens.com. Um, I buy from uh, Terry right often. And this was one of the better purchases I made. I think this was a $75 pen or so with free shipping. So for $75, bucks, I got a really good writing piece of uh, not only history, but write a really good writing instrument. So this is one that I'm going to pull out often in use on a regular basis and it's been on my desk and I've been using it right regular and carrying it in my pocket right regular here uh, since I got it been extremely happy with this particular pen one of the better purchases I've made um, pro probably in 2021 uh, is the Senator Regent from the 1960s